back. We're fortunate. We've got two number one backs. At the Combine, Matt LaFleur called you a, quote, premier back. And to get ready for this interview, I watched some highlights of you from last season. And it boils down to this. You are nifty enough to make a miss, but nasty enough to run them over. How do you decide between the two? You know, it's something I'm still working on. I feel like when, when I can master that, uh, that's when I think I'll really be at the, the, the prime of my game. And it's still something I'm working on. I don't really care how I get there. But I want to end positive, I want to drag you for two or three extra, and I want to finish forward. Uh, it doesn't matter how pretty it looks, how flashy the run was, that's just how I'm going to get it done. So it's always been my mindset, so I'm happy to keep adding to my game. Now last season, AJ, you and Aaron Jones both totaled 1,100 plus yards from scrimmage, just the second time that's happened in franchise history. They can't stop, stop us. You, can't stop us. In a very egocentric business, it does not look like you guys are competing for touches. It looks like you guys are embracing the job serum. Would that be accurate? I'd say so. I think we are constantly trying to make each other better. Uh, John G, obviously, Zed had so many different experiences, you know, in times where I'm put in situations that I haven't been in. He's able to, you know, kind of reel it all in and be like, hey, I've been here. This is what you need to do. Just relax. And even sometimes in situations that um, are new to him that I might have been into, or he's been looking at something the same way, and I'm a pair of fresh eyes. So we really work well together. And um, like you said, uh, 1,100 yards, I, I guess, for the second time, where this year we're going to try to get 1,500 apiece. So, um, it's really great to be there for one another and keep each other fresh. You know, that's how you last the season, so it's awesome. You have, as you approach next season, some expectations or goals for yourself in year three. Becoming more of a leader. Something I'm looking forward to this year is not viewing myself as a younger guy. Not necessarily going, oh, yeah, I'm a vet. I've been doing this forever, but more so just that having that confidence that you know, I'm, I'm here, I belong here, I've done it. I don't have to look for somebody else for answers. I can lead by example. i um, never been the most outspoken guy, but if a time comes up where I need to, being able to take that leadership role. So I think that's what I'm most excited for. Tell me about the Tune In to Dylan podcast. It's actually a little play on words. So I do it with my brother-in-law. Uh, my fiance and uh, my brother-in-law's name, last name is Tunin, um, which also sounds like tuning in, like watching something. So tune in to Dylan. And my fiance's name is changing from tune in to Dylan. We've had Alan Lazard on there, Charlie Barron, a Wisconsin legend and comedian. It's been really fun. And it's, uh, you joked around about me coming for your job last year. And so now I'm just, now I'm just putting tape to my resume. I need somebody to go watch my podcast highlights and uh, give, me, uh, give me a job in front of the camera. Well, I listened to it, and I learned that you consider Chick-fil-A fine dining, it and is. that you have ordered your own jugs machine. Yes. What in the name of Vince Lombardi are you gonna do with that? <laughs> so, so my thought process is I spent so much time in Door County. I wanna still get, you know, I still wanna catch, catch a couple footballs, so. I was like, you know what, I'll just order a jug machine and then Will, I can teach my fiance, I can teach the dog, anybody can load up the football and I'll, I'll get like 50 catches every day in the morning and then go about my day. It's, some people go for a morning walk, I'll catch my morning footballs and uh, call it a day. Just keep keeping me right for uh, this upcoming season. Well, AJ, best of luck with the podcast, best of luck with the upcoming marriage and of course, best of luck with football. Thanks for being with us. Oh, thank you so much. I appreciate your time, as always.